So um, what I'm going to do today is just give you. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just give you a quick guide to kind of like looking at tides and how we can find out whether it's a spring or neat tide, what that kind of means. And uh, so what I tend to use is a thing called Easy Tide. I just just Google it. It's on like a .gov page. Uh, you need to click here, free predictions, and then in here. I'm going to click on the Port of Holyhead because that would be where I would be going climbing closest to. And then essentially what I get is this come up. And so I get a rough idea of when high and low tide is. The grey bit is sort of darkness, light bit is daylight hours. Um, and as you can see, just here we've got a big tidal range. and just here we've got a not so big tidal range so this here is what we would call uh, the spring tides these are the the two biggest tides this month by the looks of it everything else is smaller and what it is is the tide comes in a lot further and it goes out a lot further this is because the moon is in a line so it tends to happen when we've got a full or no moon and then over here this is a neat tide as it the tide is going in and out a lot less so there's a lot less movement of water um, and often you need to read the guidebook to see whether uh, access is you know three hours round spring tides or whether you can get in at a neap tide it's um it's yeah you need to look into that and then down here you get the specific time so you know four o'clock in the morning ten o'clock in the morning or ten thirty and that is high water and low water is half four again and each day the tide sort of moves on it goes forward like about 40 minutes 45 minutes um, and so what we end up with is is a constantly changing high and low tide and, and that's how we can tell the tide 